Now let's continue and before that let me go back to the header itself let me add a space right here so we can have a space between the name and the other so if we go back to the uh, to the header itself let me go right here not the header but the user menu itself let me change the state to zero we didn't have a space between the name and the last name now we have it okay now let's go back to one go to see the account privacy let me just take this and we're gonna have it let me add it a few times and uh, after the settings we're just gonna have privacy checkup and this is gonna be privacy checkup icon and now it's changed the icon is gonna be privacy checkup okay let me add the C right here and now we have it okay after this one is gonna be privacy shortcut The same way is going to be privacy shortcuts icon okay and then uh, let's go after this and this is going to be activity log the icon is going to be activity log icon okay and we're going to have another one but two okay so this is let me see what this is this is gonna be news feed preference preferences like this and the icon is gonna be just news icon and the last one is gonna be language language and the icon is gonna be just language icon and now we're finished with this so now let's continue so we can go back right here if we go back zero it's gonna be like this and we are on and we are on one we're gonna see this the last thing that i'm gonna do right here is when we click on this we're gonna to return to the last page okay so which is gonna be this small circle let me add a hover for it let's go hover one for example let's see or the hover two for the small circle that has the icon not this one okay so this is not gonna be here this is my bad let's go back to the um, to the arrow back icon to the circle right here so this is going to be hover one or hover three depending on what you want and now we're going to get the hover right here okay so when we click on this one i go back to the normal states okay so we can do that right here so on click and this is simply going to be an arrow function if i can write it and right here we're going to simply go back to the user menu and get the state visible and pass it right here so we can change it from there and we're gonna go back get it from the state or the props and then just gonna be it visible and then we're gonna go back to zero okay so now at the state one we can go back to zero by clicking like this okay and now when we click on this also when i go to the state one so we can go back to the user menu i'm gonna go to the first element which is gonna be setting up privacy for this one let me go to the to the main element so on click I'm also going to do the same thing. It's always create this problem right here, okay? So just mind me. So sit visible. And it's going to be set to 1. Okay, so that's going to be the state 1 that's going to show the other one, okay? Now we are in the state 1. Let's go back to state 0, okay? So this is the way we're doing it. Same thing we've done for the settings of privacy. We're going to do for the help and support. So simply you can take this and just copy it, paste it again, and change it to help. And support .js. take the name and change the name function okay let me remove this and change the name of the function to this okay let me see how many we got so in the help and support we only got three so let me remove everything and leave only three okay so only we're gonna have three and the name here is gonna be let me go back right here okay let me go first of all to the index and let me just move this so let me move this to two so we can see it and then we're gonna show it right here okay so invisible equal to two then we're gonna show the help support mini okay like this and it's gonna show so let's go back to the help support and right here let's finish it so the first one is gonna be let me see so this is gonna be help and support okay and the first one is gonna be help sensor 
is going to be capital and the function is going to be help center icon like this okay the second one is going to be support inbox and the icon is going to be email icon and the last one is going to be report a problem and the icon is going to be info field icon okay so it works the same so this is the menu same right like this and when you click on the here it's going to go back to the normal state so now we want when we click on the help and support it opens the menu okay so simply we're going to go to the menu menu let me go back this and make it to zero okay so if we refresh it's going to be the normal state not at the profile but in the home page okay and then we're simply going to take this and the same way that we've done is for these elements we're going to do it here so we're going to go to the where is it so this one which is help and support the main div and add it right here and we're going to make the visible to be two which is going to be showing the help and support okay so now we click on it and it shows this goes back to normal same for the other one okay so the display and accessibility is going to be a bit different so let's go right here i'm going to add it so let's call this display accessibility .js and let me take the name okay or just rfc is going to add this automatically remove this and save right here go back to the index and let me add another one which is going to be this time when the visible is equal to uh, three like this and this is going to be display accessibility and to show it let me for now make the state three okay and now we see it so we can go back right here and work on it it's going to be a bit different as you see so if we go back to it and as you see this is a bit different than the other ones okay so we're going to go right here it's going to be the same class name is going to be absolute wrap we only have all the css so absolute absolute wrap header and inside this we're going to have a circle okay and also we're going to have the hover one on it like this okay and this is going to be inside this we're going to have an icon which is going to be arrow back icon okay and after this div we're going to have display and accessibility like this okay now we have it we can go back after this div and we're going to have menu main like this and then we're going to have small circle okay and inside this we're going to have dark field icon okay and as you see right there and then we're gonna have so it's gonna be here uh let me just make this an icon okay also the like the other one and then let me see here we're gonna have a menu call okay and then we're gonna have menu span one and inside this we can have and this we can have dark mode so let me see if we have it okay so menu column and menu span one okay i think this is wrong so let me put this inside here let me see okay like this and also gonna have the menu span two this is gonna be a text so let me just try and copy it from here so as you see we can select it. let me open the aspects element let me get it from here so i've copied that I'm gonna paste this right here okay so now we have that okay if there's any problem right here we're gonna fix this later so one thing that we're gonna do also for the icon right here let me add an on click which is gonna be for making simply sit visible visible to p0 and the sit visible which is gonna pass it more. so let's add it right here I'm gonna get it from the props so and let's see if we pass this we pass this right here okay so if we click right here we're gonna go back there also let me when we click on the this one so let me put this so when we click in display and accessibility it wants also to open it so it's gonna be three like that so when you click here it's gonna open okay and now we are here so let's go back to display and accessibility and after this so this is gonna be a span of both of them let me give a span just to make sure they are the right ones so after this pen and after this table after this table we're gonna have a label and the HTML for 
is going to be is going to be dark off okay and also we can have a class name which is going to be hover one i'm really sick and i'm trying my best to record so sorry so after this we're going to have a span which is off okay like this so one thing that we, we should also have is an input okay so let's go after this and we're gonna have an input and the type is not gonna be text it's gonna be a radio okay and the name is gonna be dark and the id is gonna be dark off okay so when you click on it we you click on it we select every so when you click here it selects everyone okay like this so after this we're gonna have another span and right, we're gonna have another label okay exactly and this is gonna be the opposite so dark on Okay, and this is going to be the same for the ID. Okay, and the name is going to be, let me see what the name is going to be, dark, that's fine. So both of them, this is going to be dark on. What I'm doing? This is going to be, say dark off. This is going to be dark on. <laughs> this is dark on. I'm really sorry, I'm really sick, okay? So just bear with me. And this is going to be on. And this is going to be on. Like this, okay? So you click and change between them. This is going to be filled automatically depending on what we have. But for now, let's continue. And we're going to do the same thing. So you can just copy this from right here to the menu main like this and have it here, okay? And instead of dark mode, we're going to have compact mode. Compact mode, okay? And the icon is going to be different. So let me see what icon we have. It's, let me see what I have icon right here. So I didn't change it, okay? So let me see if we have it right here. I really don't know which icon it is. Oh, filled icon, let me see. Okay, so it's not. Let me go to the icons and search for it. So where is the, where are the icons and styles icons? Let me search for anything that has to do with compact and we don't have it, okay? So I'm gonna add it later. Let me leave it like this. Uh, in the next video or uh, something, I'm gonna change it, okay? So also we're gonna go now and copy this same way and add this right here like this okay and the same way this is going to be compact off okay let me add this right here this is going to be compact and this is going to be off same way so it's going to go right here this is going to be on let me copy that have it right here and this is going to be complex because you can select them you know, have all the two on the same name you can select them all so you select this and select this and select the other okay that's why we have the name property there okay so there's a problem for this we're gonna fix this and fix this also and let me get you know an icon for the compacts first so but after this let me add the last thing and then we're gonna do it okay so let's go after the label before doing that so we're gonna have a div which is gonna be menu item and it's gonna also have the hover three like this and inside this small so the i dot keyboard icon like this okay and after this so we can have another div uh where let me see so after this we're gonna have span it's gonna be keyboard and after the span is gonna be the same rr that we have which is gonna be an icon inside which is gonna be a right icon like this okay so now we have everything right here so let me just uh, fix this too so i went and got the icon from the website so i've added it and download everything so you can need to add this and get the last attachment so you can get this so you can take the compact icon and simply go back to this one which is the second and change the compact icon and it changes okay the last thing here is this is you know uh, not the same width or not the right width so you can simply go uh, and select the small icon for this one so the first one and also this one and add an inline style and simply the width for these two is going to be for example 50 pixels and as you see now it looks alright okay so there is no problem right here okay so going back to the index just make sure that you had the uh, on clicks is visible three that we added right here so you can click on it and open it click outside and hide this so we can go back to the header right now with the index of the header and we're gonna add another state and this is gonna be show user menu and set show user menu like this okay and we're gonna take that go down right here so this is not gonna be shown 
until this is true okay like this so now it's going to be hidden to open it we need to add an on click right here and we're going to just set show let me see what we have set show user menu and we're going to make it true like this so when we click whatever it's right here it's going to be now shown okay so also when we uh, click on here and we close we want to make sure that's going to return to the return to the normal state which is like this okay so that's also important we're going to do that so first of all we're going to also add a reference right here this is more important right now and it's called user menu and we're going to take that and go up right here and we're going to add another one this is going to be the one right here user menu and we're going to have another use click She's going to be for the user menu and this time i'm going to search the show user menu okay so now if we open this and you click outside it's hidden but now also want to make sure when you click second time it hits so we're going to do the same thing so this is going to get the previous value and we're just going to change it with the difference or the opposite of that previous okay so now it's going to head now it's open and if you click outside it's going to hide this okay so also this seems that it's always on the visible three state so if we go back to the user menu we're gonna find that it's on three so make sure to make it to zero okay now if we uh, click again as you see this is hiding and showing we're gonna remove the use select after and we click outside it's fine but if we click inside right here it's not gonna open but it's gonna hide it's okay and the reason is because if we go back to the header we had the on click right here to change the state on the div that has the icon which is this one and also has the div okay so if you click inside the div it's still counted as on click right here okay so we're going to make sure that we cut this from here if i can do it i have a div right here okay and put this inside that's inside we're going to add it right here and we're going to add the icon only inside it okay so we're going to take the icon and we're going to put it inside okay so now if we click right here and we click inside this it's going to be fine okay this is all going to be fine right now and you click outside, outside it's fine okay and i think we have the same mistake right here so let me click inside anything right here it's gonna hide because we've did it we've done it right here okay so let me i'm sorry for the mistake cut this from here add a div and add it here okay and then go and cut the icon and add this inside okay so now also right here when you click here nothing's gonna happen until you click outside or you click on the same icon again okay so now this is fine and i'm sorry for the inconvenience there okay if we had it somewhere else make sure that you correct it okay and i probably you've you've noticed that the last episode we work on this and you fixed the free so big up